Well, well, well. Little Lizzie has been really busy recently, hasn't she? I heard that you're getting married to Mike. <laughs> this must be some kind of sick joke, right? Didn't you know that Mike was dating me? How could this possibly be happening? Huh? Who is this? What are you talking about? What do you want? I, I haven't got a clue what you're on about. Don't play stupid with me, Lizzie. You know exactly who this is. How could you ever forget a person like me? It's me, Justine. I'm Mike's ex-girlfriend. I'm sure he mentioned me to you at least once. I still feel really upset about all of this. I feel completely robbed, and it's all because of you. Justine? Oh, so you're Mike's ex-girlfriend. How were you able to get this number? What's so important that you wanted to talk to me for? Come to think of it, when I first started dating Mike, you were the one who wanted to just flirt your way back into his good books. I don't get it. Why did you go to the trouble of finding a mutual friend of ours so that you could get my number and send me messages? All you're going to do is start trouble. What do you want, Justine? Excuse me? What makes you think I've come here to start trouble? That makes you a really bad person just by thinking that of a person before anything else. I feel like I was definitely more of a better match for Mike than you are. I've got way more ambitions than you. Wouldn't it be better if you left Mike on your own accord so that I don't have to do so much hard work? You better leave before you start to feel miserable about yourself. <laughs> What do you mean before I start to feel miserable? Did you really just get my number just to bother me and threaten me to take my relationship away? Whatever you're planning, Justine, it's not going to work on me. What could you possibly do to me? You know that us getting married has nothing to do with you, right? What's your goal in contacting me, Justine? I'm thinking of taking back what's rightfully mine. I want Mike to be in a relationship with me, so give him back to me, please. Excuse me? What did you just say? You want me to give him back? He's not something who can be passed around. He's a person. Mike doesn't belong to you, and he wouldn't get back with you if you were the last woman on Earth. Maybe you're the only one who thinks that way, Lizzie. <laughs> Mike's very decisive, and he'll definitely choose me over you every time. I can now go to the wedding ceremony with peace of mind. It's going to be so nice to see you get rejected. <laughs> huh? I I'm so confused. I haven't got a clue what you're talking about, Justine. Don't even think about breaking into my ceremony. You were never invited, and you're not welcome either. You're starting to really annoy me right now. I don't need a chaotic situation right before my ceremony. If you've got something that you want to say, why don't you just contact Mike directly? Why are you telling me all this? Are you trying to start a fight or something? I'm not going to fall for your tricks. Hey, I'm just trying to give you some helpful advice before you make any mistakes. <laughs> Why are you even getting married anyways? You know that Mike's going to end up choosing me in the end. <laughs> are you kidding me, Justine? That's less than helpful advice. I don't need it. Stop trying to pick a fight with me. You're stressing me out. You're just causing trouble and I'm going to leave the conversation here. I've got a lot of things to do. As long as you understand what's going to happen, that's fine by me. <laughs> I'm just trying to prepare you. You're not preparing me for anything at all. You're just stirring me up. I don't understand why you're doing this at all. Just be prepared to give Mike back to me, okay? That's all I want. Well, I suppose I'd better get ready for what's about to happen. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing you at the wedding ceremony. <laughs> I don't know what your plan is, but I am not going to let it happen. You're not going to get away with this. Please don't come here and get involved with our plans. I don't need your advice, and Mike doesn't need you in his life. Just leave us alone, why don't you? Well, I guess it's time to head over to the wedding ceremony now. Do me a favor and just disappear. What are you talking about, Justine? Why do I have to disappear when it's my wedding that I need to attend? You've got no power over what I do. The worst thing about all of this is you barging into our ceremony when you're not wanted. Can you please just stop this nonsense and move on with your life? How about I don't do what you say and barge in anyways? You can't just turn around and tell a woman who's eight months pregnant what to do. Huh? What did you just say? You're not telling me you're pregnant, are you? Oh, didn't you know that I was? I thought it was common knowledge since the baby is Mike's after all. Don't start this crap. I know for a fact that's definitely not true. It's been too long since you last dated him. That doesn't make sense. That's why I came, to get Mike from the ceremony. He and I are going to get married, so you need to let him go. 
He's marrying me, and I'm going to have his child. You can't marry him. I know you're just saying all of these misleading things to get in my head, but it's not going to work. Have you lost your mind, Justine? Because there's no other explanation as to why you're doing this, apart from that you're a horrible person. Hey, I'm the one who's having a child here, so I should be the one that gets married to the love of my life, am I right? You're getting in the way of that. You're such a nuisance, and I want you gone. Excuse me? A nuisance? If anyone is being a nuisance right now, it's you, Justine. You're spoiling everything. You've obviously forgotten that I'm the one who's marrying Mike and spending the rest of my life with him. Well, sweetheart, that's not going to happen. I'm taking over your wedding and putting myself in your place. You're not going to be in the bridal position anymore, Lizzie. Mike and I are going to get married and run away with each other, so you don't need to worry about him anymore. I don't understand what you mean by not worrying. <laughs> because you're trying to steal my husband away from me? You really have gone crazy, haven't you? You seriously don't think you're allowed to come here, do you? You've said that you're going to marry him so many times that you're starting to become a pain in my backside. Are you really not getting where I'm coming from with this? Well, I'm ready, so you'd better prepare yourself as well. I'll make my enemy disappear, <laughs> never to be seen again. Your enemy? Are you seriously kidding me, Justine? That's not going to happen. I'm the main character today, and you know it. Well, I don't know how you're going to be the main character when I'm supposed to be in that position. You stole the man I was supposed to marry and my wedding day, so I'm going to take it all back. Wow, I really have got no idea what's gotten into you. Are you okay? Th this is just ridiculous, Justine. Even if you were going to take over the ceremony with an attitude like that, the guests would be in an uproar. They'll definitely want you kicked out of the venue if you try to do anything to spoil our day. I'm not sensing any good vibes from this, so why don't you just talk to Mike so you can both straighten this whole thing out? I'm heading over now, Lizzie. You better be prepared for what I'm about to do. <laughs> I told you to stop this, Justine. This is absolute madness. I don't understand why you're doing this. You're such a crazy woman. I haven't done anything to you. Please don't do anything stupid, Justine. <laughs> what the heck is going on here? What's with everyone's reaction? Why is everyone laughing for? It's only a natural thing for me to want to marry the man who's the father of my child. I'm eight months pregnant, for goodness sake. This wedding ceremony was supposed to be about me and Mike. Why isn't anyone taking it seriously? I really don't know, Justine. Maybe it's the fact that you dated me over three years ago and claim a baby is mine. Don't talk such crap to me. <laughs> Do you know how much grief you've caused for Lizzie? How long are you going to embarrass her for? I'm trying to tell you what she said before. Stop doing this to us. Huh? I is that you, Mike? Why have you got Lizzie's phone? How long does it take you to finally contact me, huh? What the heck was that earlier on? Uh, didn't you think it was terrible? How dare they laugh at me? You know, Justine, when we dated three years ago, you were so cheerful and happy-go-lucky. Now I just get strange vibes from you. You're basically causing a chaotic situation. What did you plan on doing once you got to the venue, huh? I wanted to talk to you, Mike. I wanted to get married to you. I thought that I could just come by and take Lizzie's place and marry you right then and there. I'm the one who's pregnant. I'm the one you would choose, right? I'm sorry. Why do you think I'd choose to marry you when you wanted to come in and take over everything? Huh? But then why are you contacting me like this? Isn't it because you wanted to see me as you've made a huge mistake? Are you kidding me? Don't you get it? It's because you've been harassing Lizzie with messages all day. How many times do I have to tell you so that you won't cause any more trouble? How could you act like this? Are you stupid or something? Why would you contact my fiancé? She's gonna be marrying me! Please don't say things like that to me. I just want you to marry me, that's all. You weren't replying to my messages. I had no choice but to get in contact with Lizzie and convince her to leave and never come back. You gotta be kidding me! I didn't want to read your messages, so I blocked your number on my phone. Wait, what? You blocked me? Why would you do that? All I wanted was to talk to you. What's the big deal? Uh, maybe it's because I want nothing to do with you, Justine? We broke up, and I don't want to be with you. Us dating is a thing of the past, and it's a part of my past that I don't want to reflect on. 
I'm just wanting to blank it out of my memory. I was relieved to not have heard anything from you in three years. And now you show up? Right before my wedding? I've already tried to tell you what's going on. I'm pregnant, Mike. I'm going to have a baby. You're not going to abandon me, are you? Why are you telling me all this? Shouldn't you be telling your parents and things that you're pregnant? Of course, that baby isn't mine. So don't try and put any of the blame on me. It's another man's child. We haven't even seen each other since we broke up. So how can it be my child? That's why all the guests at the ceremony burst out laughing. Because they know it's not true. And they were embarrassed for you. <laughs> why do you think I'm lying to you? I'm not lying. You're not going to do this to me, are you? You're not going to abandon me, are you? Are you telling me that you're not going to marry me? And that I don't deserve you? There's no way that I'm ever going to get back together with you. I'm so happy for the first time in my life with the woman I love, which is Lizzie. Please, just stop causing us so much trouble. We don't need this on what's supposed to be the best day of our lives. I don't want you coming anywhere near me ever again. Do you hear me? I'm not going to get involved with you, Justine. Please, Mike, don't do this to me. Just wait a minute, please. You can't just abandon me. Just answer this question. Don't you still love me, Mike? Justine, please, just stop this, okay? That's enough of this nonsense. We just want you to leave us alone. I'm with Mike now, and I love him. Oh, great. Is this you, Lizzie? This is just perfect. What am I supposed to do now? How could you do this to me? How dare you embarrass me like you did? Why would you do this to a pregnant woman? Have you been pretending to be Mike and sending me messages? There's no way that Mike would just abandon me, right? You're playing me, aren't you? Huh? What are you even saying, Justine? You're not really making any sense, and what you're doing is awful. It's horrible that such a fuss was caused at my wedding ceremony. It shouldn't have happened. I feel so terrible right now. What a terrible way to put it. I did no such thing. I was entitled to do that because I'm Mike's ex-girlfriend, remember? I just wanted him back in my arms. It was really me who was supposed to get married to Mike today. You're ruining everything. So what, you're his ex-girlfriend. Now that he's not with you, whatever he does with his life has got nothing to do with you. <laughs> it's been such a long time since you both broke up. Can't you just move on and find some other poor guy to marry? Besides, Mike's already my husband. What's he supposed to do if you've suddenly come back to get him and say you're pregnant? Everyone knows that it's not his baby, Justine. Who are you kidding here? Mike and I were planning to raise the child together. I know that he's always wanted a baby. But then you came in out of the blue and said you were going to get married to him. Mike is my man and always will be. Have you seriously lost your mind? <laughs> you've actually gone crazy, Justine. He never said that to you. I guess when I said that we were getting married, you decided that you needed him more than I did. You don't like the fact that someone else is with him now. I never stole Mike away from you. You pushed him away. We started dating each other after you both broke up. He was my friend, but I never did anything with him when he was with you. Surely you remember what went down. You know that's what happened, right? I don't care what happened in the past. I need him by my side in the present. I want Mike to fulfill his role as a father. I believe Mike and I know he would never backstab me in order to be with you. He doesn't want that for himself. He cares about me too much. Besides, where's the evidence to prove that Mike's the father of the baby you're carrying? Huh? What are you talking about? What about my baby? What evidence could I possibly have? Uh, you know that you can find out the paternity of a child by analyzing its DNA, right? I don't need any DNA testing to prove who the father is. I know for a fact that this is Mike's baby. You do know that I'm pregnant, right? Don't you think that Mike should have chosen me? It's the better choice for him. What the heck, Justine? Why do you think that? <laughs> You're completely delusional. You've lost your marbles, that's for sure. There's no why to be questioned. This is the way it should be. He should be with me, not you, and I'm having his child and he should marry me. That's definitely not how it should be, Justine. How are you not getting this? We've explained this to you so many times now. How is it not sinking in? Mike said earlier that the two of you did date each other. You know that was three years ago, right? Why do you think that Mike would choose you now? He hasn't had contact with you in such a long time, and to be honest, he doesn't want to. 
He should choose me because I'm the one who's pregnant and I know he wanted children someday and that day is today. You're the one who's not understanding this. It's frustrating me so much. And whose baby is it, Justine, if you haven't seen Mike in three years? <laughs> it's definitely not Mike's baby because he's been with me for the past eight months. The reason that you both broke up in the first place was because you got caught cheating on him. He was devastated, but he knew he deserved better. Isn't it because of you that Mike gave up on your relationship? Because you cheated on him with another man? There's no way that Mike would ever start over again with a woman who sleeps around with other men behind his back. Oh, come on. That was a long time ago. I was young and stupid, and he was too. We had no idea how to act in a relationship. I'm sure he hung out with other women as well. I'm not the only guilty one in this story. I'm being serious about wanting him back. Even though you say these things now and feel regret, nothing's going to change. You can't have him. He loves me. But he can't do this to me. I'm the one who's pregnant and needs a man by her side. Don't you get that? How is he not prioritizing me over you? I'm the pregnant one. I'm the one who needs help. Oh, you didn't just go there. There is nothing wrong with him choosing me over you. <laughs> no way would he want to get with a pregnant woman when the baby isn't his. And you know what? You've got no proof that it's his, so give it up, Justine. He's not getting back together with you. But don't you think it's terrible of him to abandon me in this condition? I am heavily pregnant and need a man. Wouldn't you help a woman out if they were pregnant? You do realize you're going way too far with that theory, right? This situation is completely different from just casually helping out a pregnant lady. Are you saying that someone should help you by marrying you while you're pregnant? Is that it? But someone would need to love you and even want to do that. It would be impossible. <laughs> like, actually think about it, Justine. You've gone quiet. Why did you shut up all of a sudden? Hello? Justine? Look, Mike and I are happily married. Don't you realize you're interfering with that? You've got nothing to do with us. You're just another outsider, and we don't want you in our circle ruining everything. Where are you trying to get so involved? I just wanted to be happy with Mike. That's all I've ever wanted, to be happy with him. Well, you had your chance, Justine, and you blew it. You know that, right? You should have thought about all of this while you two were dating and before you decided to go and cheat on him. It's too late for you. Everything you did with him is lost. You've got no one to blame but yourself. Even if you're pregnant, we all know it's not Mike's child. If you insist on keeping up with this fake story, prove it with a DNA test. Okay, fine. I admit it. He's not the father to my baby. I haven't seen Mike since we broke up. You happy now? I finally said it. Well, like I said before, I knew it wasn't his baby, so what's been the point of this conversation? <laughs> it's been a complete waste of time and energy. But I'm in a lot of emotional pain. The father of my baby abandoned me. I thought that if I told Mike that it was his, he'd choose me and we'd be together. Oh my god, why would you do that? Do you know how selfish this is? Are you that self-conscious about doing this by yourself? Don't you think it's kind of dumb of you to get involved in ruining our wedding plans and make that sort of claim in front of everyone? I don't know how much of an expectation you had with Mike choosing you over me, but he'd never do that to me. Do you really think he would talk to you calmly and want to see you after breaking up such a long time ago? If someone asks you to get married because you're pregnant, don't you think you'd be causing trouble? Why would you even want to trouble Mike with such a burden when he wants to be with me? <laughs> But I am in trouble, Lizzie. I can't have this baby without it having a father. Many women give birth to their babies and bring them up. It's very doable. You knew what you were doing. You need to take responsibility for the mess you've caused. Have you not thought to look for the baby's father yourself? You need to ask the baby's dad to take responsibility for what he's done too. He's also to blame for this. I don't know what else to tell you, Justine. This is something that you've got to deal with. Stop dragging Mike into it. But how can I? Mike isn't replying to me. You need to tell him what's going on with me. Please, you've got to tell him to contact me. How stupid are you, Justine? He doesn't want to speak with you. Who would honestly tell that to their own husband? He doesn't want to have to deal with a crazy woman who's making no sense at all. Crazy woman? Are you talking about me? I'm not crazy. My baby needs a father, and I want it to be Mike. Oh, for goodness sake, I am not doing this with you anymore. Are you sure there's no one else who'll be the dad? <laughs> it really is a shame that you were trying to convince Mike to be the dad. It's 
embarrassing, really. I can't deal with you anymore. Feel free to worry more about this on your own, but you need to deal with your own problems. Stop giving them to us. Like Mike did, I'm going to block your number now. No, please wait. Please don't block me. Mike can't abandon me like this. I am so pregnant and I'm about to pop any minute. I've got no one else. Then maybe you need to go find yourself a new husband. Don't rely on mine. I don't want to hear from you ever again. Stop acting like a dumb crazy lady and get on with your life. You've got a baby to take care of. In the end, Justine held a huge grudge against Mike and Lizzie as they wouldn't help her. Apparently, she tried to cause a riot at the ceremony and was immediately kicked out by security. It seems like she embarrassed herself from the beginning to the end of that day. Both Lizzie and Mike have blocked Justine from getting in touch with them. After that, they never got a message from Justine again. Apparently, she never tried to do anything to either of them again. In the end, Justine couldn't rely on anyone. It seemed like she went back to her parents' house and gave birth to her child there. It would be better for her to take herself seriously and find another husband to marry and have his children. Lizzie was not contacted by that troublesome woman and both her and Mike seemed relieved. The wedding was a disaster, but it was a good opportunity to start again.